defeat in the Carabao Cup, but you go out with your heads held high. Defeat in record, victory in performance, attitude, determination, um, with injury list and so many players not here. It's a Premier League team um, that you weren't allowed to touch, <laughs> weirdly. Um, I never heard so many noises on a football pitch. Um, but like you say, I'm really pleased with my players' honesty and, 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 and determination and a style, which was, which was very, very good. Ten minutes before half time, you could have killed the game off. Five, ten minutes before, you had the chances. Chris, I've just said that. We had four or five chances Saturday at 1 0 down to go 1 0, 2 1, 3 1, possibly. It, it's all speaking what ifs to get that. Again, today at 1 0, we had three, four guilt edge chances. Mm. And they missed a good chance before they scored. Yeah. And I said to Short, said, that might be the one we've just rolled our luck because the chances that we've missed the other end. And then we then come back and we had two or three chances after he got back to 1 1. So it's just a little bit of a, a ruthless edge. Listen, we've got, I've got Matty Taylor and Sam Winnell sat behind me. James Henry and Cameron Branning are not on the pitch yeah. later on. So we've got a lot of players who weren't actually psyched who wasn't on the pitch at all. Um, so there's a lot of players who weren't even involved tonight. And to put a performance up like we did was, was truly outstanding, in my view. No, I agree with you, but that's only possible because people like Young Jack, Joel Cooper, Rob Hall come into the side, and, and Fordy I thought was good today as well. I they want to show you what we I probably, probably thought Fordy was man of the match. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. But that's because they're coming in and they've got to prove to you they should be Yeah, but also as well, because you, you spend a lot of time around the training ground, and the one big thing that we believe in at this football club is integrity and respect and a work ethic. There's a number of different components that sort of integrate themselves to wear our shirt. And one of the big core credentials is that it is the respect that you show each other, the determination every day to, to want to improve, but also being a good guy, being a good man, and, and wanting to work with the football club as one big family. And Ford, he comes in every day. He asks the questions, he doesn't play in the right way. He queries it, he, he wants to know more. And, and, and as a manager of a football club, he's, he's an A1 guy and he, you couldn't wish for a nicer person. And when you train right, even when you're not playing, you conduct yourself in the right way, you get performance like you did tonight.